Our last participate for this round. <laughs> Ali Adel. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Uh, how are you all doing? I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. My name is Ali. I'm 18 years old, and I have more than a fundamental knowledge when it comes to computers. Uh, I am basically studying computer engineering. I'm freshman year, by the way. Uh, I used to like enjoy uh, playing with computer parts when I was young. So that's the thing about me. Today, I am going to be talking about artificial intelligence in general. I'm going to be giving my own perspective and opinion on artificial intelligence. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of like negative and positive uh, points about artificial intelligence. So uh, I'm sure if you know uh, uh, what artificial intelligence is. So the more simplified definition of artificial intelligence for me, at least, is like giving a machine the ability to think or operate like a human being. So uh, there's like a lot of artificial intelligence tools that have been used uh, these days among people like ChatGPT. I'm sure many of you know what ChatGPT is. It is basically a bot that is using artificial intelligence technology uh, to perform a variety of tasks, such as writing an essay from scratch or solving mathematical equations. But the thing is about this tool, uh, I feel like it's quite uh, overrated. I feel like people are overestimating its ability. Like for an example, it can for sure solve mathematical equations, but it cannot really observe a problem from different aspects like human beings. The thing is about it, it gives you an extremely direct answer. Some people are saying that this tool can uh, replace other jobs, like uh, maybe mathematicians. I don't really agree with them because uh, sometimes uh, solving a mathematical equation directly is not what you really need in a job. Sometimes you are required to uh, observe the problem from different aspects uh, to, so, uh, to basically uh, get what you want into a job. Like for example, let's take uh, lawyers for an example. Uh, you cannot just give a direct answer if you are a lawyer. You have to like observe the problem from different aspects or like if you're a detective, it's kind of hard like to give a direct answer. You have to be like sure and precise about your answer in the court. And I feel like uh, people are really exaggerating about artificial intelligence. Some people are saying that AI is gonna replace their job. I don't really agree with them uh, because first of all, AI is still under development and it's still in its early stage. It's uh, not really consistent. Uh, that's the thing about it. And also uh, for an example, AI, uh, AI is not really that perfect uh, because sometimes when you're using it, an AI tool uh, like ChatGPT, it's not really providing a really accurate result. It's extremely inaccurate sometimes. And sometimes you might face uh, some errors while using ChatGPT. Uh, so there's like other artificial intelligence tools like uh, Synthesia. So this AI tool uh, can basically replace news reporters I don't think they can because the thing is about this AI tool, you have to insert an entire script into it uh, for it to operate. And it, it basically requires instructions to operate properly. But the thing is about it, it basically lacks emotional intelligence that human beings possess. So I think no one will find it interesting watching an AI tool talking on the television. It's kind of uh, boring in my opinion because it lacks of self-awareness and self-consciousness which are required to make the show entertaining. And um, the same go for the same thing goes to like education. If you put an AI tool to educate like a bunch of kids, it will be kind of boring because it will be extremely straightforward and not entertaining. But like kids require entertainment like in order to make them understand the subject because they will not really enjoy your lecture if you like keep giving them like straight points like one plus one equals two. It will be like kind of boring for them uh, since they are kids. So you basically have to get them like uh, to get them to look at you or like uh, get their attention in your own way. So that's the thing about it. And uh, I've seen like software engineers talking about how AI is going to replace their jobs uh, because uh, it can basically program. I think this is also wrong because uh, AI lacks of critical thinking that human beings also have. So crit critical thinking is really important, especially for engineers and doctors. Uh, and also, uh, as I said, sometimes uh, some complex problems, uh, AI face problems like solving uh, complex problems. Uh, in, in your job sometimes, like uh, maybe a complicated code or something like that. It, it kind of face like uh, these kind of problems uh, while trying like to solve a, a specific math problem. And also I heard like AI can hold a conversation with a human being, right? The thing is about it, it's not really entertaining to talk to an AI tool. It basically, uh, it's like talking to a wall. It's like extremely boring, you know? So I really don't find it a cool thing. Like, uh, and after all, AI is still under development. It's far from being fully developed. I've heard like uh, well-known scientists say uh, 
uh, that AI can spell the end of the human race. I don't, I don't really agree with him. By the way, the scientist's name is Stephen Hawking. I don't really agree with him uh, because I think this is unlikely going to happen in the near future for many reasons. Uh, first of all, AI sometimes is not really intelligent. It for sure can solve like calculus problems, but sometimes it, it cannot even count. It's kind of weird, like uh, facing this kind of bugs uh, in an AI tool. Uh, so that's basically why I think it's not really that good of a thing, like using an AI tool uh, in this generation. And the same goes like uh, for uh, other jobs. Like for an example, as I said before, uh, if you replace it with a doctor, it cannot really like uh, uh, operate well uh, as a real doctor. Uh, the same goes like for uh, psychologists and these kind of other jobs. It cannot really operate properly to put it in these kind of jobs. Uh, so that's the thing about AI. I don't really find it like that cool. I just find it like a normal technology. I think it's still under development. Maybe it will be like much better in the future. Uh, so in conclusion, I think AI is uh, a good way to basically communicate with the uh, people and I, I mean, it's, I think it's a, a great way like to use it as an assistant tool. I don't think you should be relying too much on it. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you everyone for listening.